Hello and welcome, I'm Autumn Zenith, a pagan witch and passionate paper crafter. In this video, I'm going to show you five different ways to make fun mini brooms from everyday household items and craft supplies. The general design of each of these mini brooms is quite similar, however the materials used do differ a bit. I encourage you to use these brooms as jumping off points for your own creativity. For this first broom, I went with a very fall color palette. Fall's my favorite season and I craft for it the whole year through, as I know many of you do as well. So for this, I just took some lovely yarn. It's a bit of an eyelash feathery yarn, a cinnamon stick, some twine, and a charm. And I'm starting out by wrapping the yarn around my hand about 15 to 20 times. Depending on the thickness of your yarn, you may need to do more or less just to get the bristles of the broom as full as you wish. Then gently pinching the yarn, slide it off your hand and try to ensure that the loops all stay together. Next, take a small piece of twine or a twist tie, something that you can help hold the yarn together with at the top. This is just temporary so that it's easier for you to stick the cinnamon stick inside of your loops. I love the colors of this broom and how perfect it is for every sort of fall event, from Maybon to Samhain, Thanksgiving to Halloween. All right, now we're just gonna put that stick in there and help hold it in place with some yarn. No, sorry, <laughs> with some glue. Now the fun part, you get to open up all those loops that you made. And once you've done that, take a look, see if you need to give your yarn a little bit of a haircut at the bottom. And when you're happy with it, proceed on. For using a charm or embellishment, now's the time to hot glue it to the spot where the yarn and the cinnamon stick meet. Next, take some twine or cord of your choice. I went with this lovely copper toned one because I thought it really matched the yarn. And you're just going to put a little hot glue to hold the twine in place at the beginning, wrap it around your cinnamon stick several times, and then secure the end again with hot glue. And there you have it. This beautiful fall colored mini broom is ready to go. Plus, if you use fresh cinnamon, you'll have that lovely telltale aroma wherever you place this in your house. All right, our next broom uses a small mini candy or cake pop stick, some 1.75 inch wide tool, a metal charm and jump ring, and some twine. So I've just taken about eight to 10 layers of that tool, which I've cut the pieces each of the layers to about six inches. Fold them in half, and now using a sharp pair of scissors, I'm cutting almost to the fold, but not entirely. And this is going to create the bristles of this particular broom. All right, now I'm just taking a hole punch, but you could use a knife, a strong craft knife if you didn't have a hole punch. And I'm making a hole, which I'm gonna put my candy stick through. If you don't wanna use a candy stick, you could easily use a small wooden skewer like the type for shish kebabs as well. And just glue the two together. Let that dry for a sec. And then take some twine or cord of your choice and again, wrap it around the top. This is natural jute twine, which I thought really went well with the colors here. I like this soft, earthy palette. Makes me think of those days when summer starts to meld into fall. These brooms, uh, this particular broom weighs next to nothing, even with the twine. So if you're a mainly a package but need to keep weight down, this would be a lovely little broom to include for a friend or loved one. As you can see, I have a metal charm there and a small jump ring. I'm going to attach the two together and then taking that same twine, I'm going to make a basic bow and I'm going to dangle my charm from the bow. Now, if you do not have a jump ring 
uh, or other way that you want to attach your charm, you can totally just hot glue gun it. Don't worry for a sec about the jump ring. There we go. How sweet is that? And again, just take some hot glue and attach your bow with the charm to the top of your broom where the uh, bristles begin. There we have it, broom number two. All right, this third broom is very fun. It'd be perfect for giving to kids or putting out at a family Halloween party. For this one, you're going to need some cupcake liners, a foam bat, another one of those candy sticks, and some twine or cord of your choosing. I'm taking four of the cupcake liners, all the same, and I'm just gonna flatten them out a bit. And then I'm going to go around and take some scissors and snip pretty much between the ridges, but it doesn't matter. You don't have to be exact. You just wanna make a ton of little cuts all the way around for the bristles of this particular broom. Then I'm gonna take a craft knife. If you had an anywhere hole punch or just a longer hole punch than I have, you could easily and perhaps even more effectively use that. But I just uh, went with my sharp, trusty craft knife to create a slit in all of the layers of the cupcake liners into which I will insert the candy stick. All right, so put your stick through the slit or the hole that you just made, and then you're gonna wanna fold the cupcake liners a bit. Now just play around with this and get it so that they're a bit fanned out and look like the bottom of a broom. And when you're happy with that, just dab a little hot glue again to hold them in place. Next, taking the twine or cord of your choosing, we're just gonna, uh, you know, attach it with hot glue gun and insert glue again. Wrap it a few times around and then secure it with hot glue. I'm just using some inexpensive faux suede that I picked up from the dollar store. And for our embellishment on the broom, as you can see, we're gonna be using one of those very cute little bat stickers off to the side. Those are also from the dollar store, from Dollarama here in Canada. And I think Dollarama's had these for the last few years. So if you're looking to get some yourself, keep an eye out as summer starts to wind down and the dollar store starts putting them out, uh, out their Halloween decorations. All right, so again, I'm just fanning out, making sure I'm happy with how the bottom of the broom looks. And I'm gonna take an orange bat and we're just gonna attach that with some hot glue. How cute are its little beady, um, googly eyes. They're so sweet. If you know someone who's into spooky, cute things, this would be perfect for them. And there we go. Mini broom number three complete. Our next broom is the biggest and arguably um, most involved. You're going to need two colors of metallic tinsel style pipe cleaners, a paper drinking straw, some 1.75 inch wide tool, baker's twine, a small black bat felt cutout or die cut, and a metal charm. So I'm taking the pipe cleaners. I, again, I have 10 of each color and I'm just sticking, I fold them in half and I'm sticking my paper straw inside. And you're gonna hot glue again that when you're happy with the placement. You probably need a fair bit of glue because the uh, pipe cleaners do have a little heft to the end body to them. But we're also gonna take some metallic twine, sorry, I don't know if I mentioned that, and loop that around as well to help hold the pipe cleaners in place. Once that's done, we're going to take some of that lovely 1.75 inch wide orange tool and I cut three pieces the same length, about 25 to 26 inches long, and I'm just going to make a basic bow with them. Once the bow is complete, just fan out the loops and trim the edges as you wish. And 
Now, if you didn't have tool that was the same size or similar, and you had bigger pieces or smaller, you could use those as well. Uh, with bigger ones, you might want to cut it down though closer to two inches, just so that the bow isn't too ginormous and it doesn't overpower the whole broom. So a little hot glue, and then we're going to take that felt band, which I just picked up uh, probably about two, three years ago from AliExpress, but you could easily die cut something similar or use a pre-made bat shape like we did for the previous mini broom. Next, we're going to take some baker's twine. This is just uh, orange and white. And we're going to run that through this cute little silver tone metal pumpkin charm and tie a super basic bow. And once you've got that, we're going to we're going to glue gun it onto the glue, sorry, hot glue it onto the bat so it dangles a little bit. As I mentioned, this, this is the biggest of the broom brooms that we're making in this tutorial and it would make a great piece of Halloween decor, Samhain decor in your house. And as with all of these brooms, you could easily attach a loop to the top and hang it from the wall as well, just with some cord or ribbon of your choice. All right, for this broom, you're going to need some natural raffia, cinnamon stick, feathers, some little uh, puffy heart, sorry, star embellishments, and a wooden star charm or cutout. Take your raffia, fold it in half and place the cinnamon stick inside. Then take another piece of raffia and instead of twine like in the other ones, we're going to use that to hold it in place. Hot glue it so that it stays securely in place against the broom. Trim your bristles to your liking. You may find that raffia spreads out or curves inwards a bit, especially if it was pre-folded in the pack. For my example, my first example broom, they curved inwards, but this one just based on how it was folded, spread out a bit more, looking more broomish. All right, so take some feathers. I'm gonna use four and hot glue gun them to the raffia. Then take your star charm. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. I forgot to mention that for this one, you want a star anise, like you would pick up at a grocery store or a bulk food store. That does help complete it and adds a fall harvest feel to it with both the cinnamon stick and the star anise. So we're just going to take our little um, puffy puffy star charms, which again, I think I picked those up as well on AliExpress, but you can usually find similar sort of puffy appliques at craft stores and dollar stores. Or you could easily make something similar too if you're a crafter, a uh, sewer. All right, and then we're taking our star anise and placing that in the center of the wooden star. And there we have it, a very harvest season appropriate broom. All right, guys, so those are our five mini brooms, and I hope that you enjoyed seeing them all. Please let me know which one was your favorite in the comments below as well. Please let me know if you have any ideas that you would like to see for future crafting tutorials. I'm always looking for your suggestions and love to make things that would um, be in line with your own crafting as well. I really appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. And thank you again so much for watching everyone. May you be well and safe today and always. Happy crafting.